Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com at the end of December 2023 and the beginning of January 2024. This week, we also have a second video for you to watch, our 2023 Year in Tribute. We look back together and remember the year's biggest obituary headlines. Click the Legacy.com YouTube channel to watch that video today. Actor Kamar de los Reyes died December 24, 2023 in Los Angeles. He died of cancer at the age of 56. He starred on One Life to Live as Antonio Vega from 1995 through 2009, and he had roles on such TV shows as Sleepy Hollow, The Rookie, and All-American. De Los Reyes is also being remembered for his voice role in several installments of the Call of Duty video game series playing Raul Menendez. Comedian and musician Tom Smothers died December 26, 2023, at his home in Santa Rosa, California. He died after a recent battle with cancer at the age of 86. He was one half of the Smothers Brothers, known for their 1960s variety show The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. It was a hit with counterculture audiences, but ultimately canceled by CBS for its edgy takes on the Vietnam War and other issues of the day. Smothers is being remembered for his hilarious stage presence. He was the comedic half of the duo, playing a bumbling stammerer to his brother's straight man. Actor Lee Sun Kyun died December 27, 2023, in Seoul at the age of 48. The South Korean star was best known internationally for his prominent role in the 2019 Best Picture Oscar winner, Parasite. Lee is also being remembered for roles in such movies and TV shows as My Mister, Dr. Brain, and Coffee Prince. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately by their family or the authorities. When a cause of death has not been officially announced, we do not report on rumors. Every family has a right to their privacy. Musician Laura Lynch died December 22, 2023, outside Cornudas, Texas. She died of injuries sustained in a car accident at the age of 65. She was a co-founder of the Dixie Chicks, playing bass and singing in the country band's early days. Lynch is being remembered for her music on albums like Thank Heavens for Dale Evans and Shouldn't Have Told You That. Race car driver Paula Murphy died December 21, 2023 at an assisted living facility in Prescott, Arizona. She died after a period of declining health at the age of 95. She was called the fastest woman on four wheels in the 1960s and 70s, setting several land speed records. Murphy is being remembered as the first woman to drive a jet engine car across the famed Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. Actor Tom Wilkinson died December 30, 2023, in London at the age of 75. He earned Academy Award nominations for his performances in Michael Clayton and In the Bedroom. He is being remembered for his prolific career, with such highlights as The Full Monty, Shakespeare in Love, and Batman Begins. Comedian Shecky Green died December 31, 2023, at his home in Las Vegas. He died of natural causes at the age of 97. He was a stand-up legend, known for his headliner status in Las Vegas and for many appearances on such TV shows as The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and The Merv Griffin Show. He is also being remembered for performances in movies like History of the World Part 1 and Splash. Green was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. Race car driver Cale Yarborough died December 31, 2023, in Florence, South Carolina. He died after a long illness at the age of 84. He won the Winston Cup three consecutive years in the 1970s and was one of NASCAR's all-time winningest drivers. 
Yarborough is being remembered as a NASCAR Hall of Famer and a tough competitor. Actress Anna Ophelia Morgia died December 31, 2023, at the age of 90. She was the voice of Mama Coco in the beloved Disney Pixar film Coco. Morgia is also being remembered for her long career at home in Mexico, where she was well known for movies, TV, and stage roles. Musician Les McCann died December 29, 2023, in Los Angeles. He died of pneumonia at the age of 88. He was a soul jazz pianist, best known for his 1969 protest song, Compared to What? He is being remembered for his influence on hip-hop music, where his work was widely sampled by artists like The Notorious B.I.G. and De La Soul. McCann was a U.S. Navy veteran. U.S. Representative Eddie Bernice Johnson died December 31, 2023, at the age of 88. She represented the 30th Congressional District of Texas in the House for 30 years, from 1993 until her retirement in 2023. Johnson is being remembered as the first registered nurse elected to U.S. Congress and the first black woman from Dallas elected to any public office. Actor Richard Romanus died December 23, 2023, in Volos, Greece, at the age of 80. He played a prominent role in Mean Streets, director Martin Scorsese's critical breakthrough. Romanus is also being remembered for his performance as Richard LaPena on The Sopranos. Pro wrestler Masashi Ozawa died December 29, 2023, in Tokyo. He died of an aortic dissection at the age of 76. He was better known as Killer Khan when he wrestled for WWE in the 1980s, with notable opponents including Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Ozawa is being remembered for his Asian mist defense when he would spit a supposedly poisonous liquid in an opponent's face. Dancer Maurice Hines died December 29, 2023, at the Actors Fund home in Englewood, New Jersey. He died of natural causes at the age of 80. He tap danced with his brother, the late Gregory Hines, on stage, on TV, and in the movie The Cotton Club. Hines is also being remembered for his Broadway career in such shows as Yubi and Hot Feet. Race car driver Jill DeFerrin died December 29, 2023, in Opalaca, Florida. He died of a heart attack at the age of 56. He won the 2003 Indianapolis 500 and took home CART World Series champion titles in 2000 and 2001. DeFerrin is also being remembered for his years in Formula 3 racing and for working as a Formula 1 manager. Actress and singer Sandra Reeves Phillips died December 29, 2023, at the age of 79. She appeared in movies and TV shows like Lean on Me, Round Midnight, and Law and Order. Reeves Phillips is also being remembered for her one-woman show, The Late Great Ladies of Blues and Jazz. Françoise Bournet died December 25, 2023, at the age of 93. She was the subject of a famous photograph by Robert Doineau, kissing her then-boyfriend on a Paris street. The photo was featured in Life magazine in 1950 and later became a staple of dorm room posters. Bournet is being remembered as an enduring symbol of young love. Playwright and composer Mbongani Ngema died December 27, 2023, in South Africa. He died of injuries sustained in a car accident at the age of 68. 
He co-wrote the musical Serafina, which ran for two years on Broadway, was nominated for five Tony Awards, and was adapted into a film starring Whoopi Goldberg. Ngema is being remembered for his anti-apartheid work, as well as for arranging the music for the classic Disney animated feature The Lion King. Football player Frank Ryan died January 1, 2024, in Waterford, Connecticut. He died of complications from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 87. He was a three-time Pro Bowl quarterback who led the Cleveland Browns to the NFL Championship in 1964. Ryan is also being remembered for his second career as a Ph.D. mathematician who helped create the first electronic voting system used by Congress. Dr. Sidney M. Wolfe died January 1, 2024, in Washington, D.C. He died of brain cancer at the age of 86. He spent decades working to have potentially dangerous pharmaceuticals removed from the market. Wolfe is being remembered for his lifelong commitment to keeping consumers safe. At least 84 people were killed on January 1, 2024, in an earthquake in western Japan. This is a developing story, and the information available may change quickly. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of the anniversaries from the past two weeks. Seven years ago last week, singer George Michael died at the age of 53. His many hits with Wham! and as a solo artist included Last Christmas, which recently went to number one for the first time in the UK. Seven years ago last week, actress and writer Carrie Fisher died at the age of 60. She was a star of the Star Wars series and wrote such novels as Postcards from the Edge. Seven years ago last week, actress and singer Debbie Reynolds died at the age of 84, one day after the death of her daughter, Carrie Fisher. Her classic films include Singin' in the Rain and Tammy and the Bachelor. Ten years ago this week, actor James Avery died at the age of 68. He was a beloved TV dad, playing Philip Banks in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Ten years ago this week, singer Phil Everly died at the age of 74. He was half of the Everly Brothers, known for hits like Wake Up Little Susie and Kathy's Clown. Fifteen years ago last week, singer and actress Eartha Kitt died at the age of 81. She was TV's Catwoman and sang such songs as Santa Baby and Say Si Bon. Thirty years ago this week, actor Cesar Romero died at the age of 86. He had hundreds of TV, movie, and stage roles, including playing the Joker on TV's Batman. Forty years ago last week, musician Dennis Wilson died at the age of 39. He was a founding member of the Beach Boys, playing drums and singing backing vocals. Fifty years ago this week, singer and actor Tex Ritter died at the age of 68. He was a pioneer of country music and a singing cowboy in many Western movies. Singer and songwriter Donna Summer was born 75 years ago this week. She died in May 2012 at the age of 63. She was called the Queen of Disco with hits like Hot Stuff and Bad Girls. Singer and songwriter John Denver was born 80 years ago this week. He died in October 1997 at the age of 53. His many hits included Take Me Home Country Roads and Sunshine on My Shoulders. Musician Bo Diddley was born 95 years ago this week. He died in June 2008 at the age of 79. He helped shape the development of rock and roll with songs like Bo Diddley and I'm a Man. Actor George Reeves was born 110 years ago this week. He died in June 1959 at the age of 45. 
he became TV's first superhero when he starred in Adventures of Superman in the 1950s. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in West Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former State House of Delegates member Larry Faircloth. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of former Secretary of the Department of Agriculture Henry Allen Bud Verts. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Senator Herb Cole. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of Greensboro Police Sergeant Philip Dale Nix, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Marines Sergeant Matthew K. Bilski. Flags in Wyoming have been lowered to honor the memory of State Representative Clarence Bronish. Flags in Georgia have been lowered to honor the memory of Spalding County Sheriff's Deputy Sergeant Mark Andrew McIntyre, who died in the line of duty. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.